Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I do want to apologize. I've been trying, well, not that you would know, right? <laughs> I've been trying to record uh, your reading, Scorpio, for about three times and I keep being interrupted. So I apologize for that. Let me change this really quick. Okay. Hopefully it looks better. All right, my lovelies, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish you guys the very best for the start of this month of September 2021. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Uh, Hallow's Eve is right around the corner and you guys already know. Yes, I am already rocking Halloween stuff. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of October, sorry, September. <laughs> I'm trying to jump a month ahead. Yes, I am that excited. So we're starting off here with the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, and Temperance card. Beautiful, beautiful energy, you guys. Two of Cups here. We have the Chariot. Wow. Okay, very powerful cards here, Scorpio. So I definitely do see in regards to your career and finances, you guys are going to be doing very well for this month of September. Opportunities coming your way. Um, even opportunities that at some point you were hoping or praying for and maybe you felt like there was stagnation there or things didn't move as quickly as you would want them to have manifested for you they're definitely coming through for the month of september so there's almost a revisiting of things that you've been wanting or you've been manifesting um, for some of you guys it could be manifestations that you kind of forgot that that's something you really hoped for or wished for and then boom they manifest for you in the month of september and i see you very filled with gratitude i see you uh, really contemplating how bl how blessed you are um counting your blessings and that's the that's the main message that i'm getting here scorpio it's going to be very important for the month of september to be very grateful and to feel very blessed why because i see a lot of opulence around you a lot of abundance a lot of prosperity whether it's in relationships whether it's in finances in your career in your health all of this is kind of aligning to bring to you uh, to propel you to uh, a better version of the life that you've been wanting i definitely do see that and again like i said the manifestation of hopes and desires are definitely coming through but it's going to be very important again like i said to hone that energy by being grateful by being thankful, by counting your blessings. I definitely do see um, a manifestation here of, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, um, and there's been a lot of healing that's been happening in, I wanna say the past couple of, about a year and a half to two years for some of you, um, where you've been on this journey of finding yourself or healing or healing from a you know difficult and toxic relationship that you came out of, like I said, about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, I definitely do see the transition, like you finally being able and being ready, feeling ready to embrace a new beginning. And I definitely do see a new, be a new beginning coming forth for you, Scorpios. And it's coming in rather quick, more quick than you would expect. For some of you guys, you're gonna be dealing with a Sagittarius or with a Cancer for the month of September. Now your next cards here is the Six of Cups the three of pentacles and the page of wands uh which is indicating to me a lot about yeah we're definitely talking here about uh the past and being able to you know being able to flip that chapter to go into your next chapter to release yourself from the past release yourself from toxic energies if you've been holding on to anger some type of animosity or some type of um anger towards someone even if it was a person from your past as an example um that didn't end very well what they're telling you here is it's time to let that go scorpio um the more you hold on to that anger the more you hold on to the resentment of what they did in the past or how they did you in the past um you're kind of blocking yourself and you're blocking your heart from receiving blessings that the universe wants to give to you so it is time for you to move on from that type of energy stop reliving or revisiting the past is what they're telling you especially for those of you guys that are still continuously dealing with someone from the past that is not as present or active in your life but whenever they still feel like it they come back around and you 
you know, allow them to because you continue uh, to open yourself up to that. What they're telling you, it's time to bring that toxic, um, bring that toxic energy to an end and completely release yourself from that energy. Now, I do see for some of you guys um, with the three of cups and the six of cups, I feel that there's going to be a situation that arises where the family has to come together to for some type of agreement, some type of uh, for the sake of harmony within the family. I feel that there is a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes. This could be people talking behind each other's back. This could be trying to turn other people against each other. Um, and what they're telling you here is that it's going to be very important for you to uh, try to embrace being the peacemaker. Um, you know, whenever a family member, a friend is talking bad about another, you know, cousin, an aunt, a sister, a brother, whatever the situation is, don't add more fuel to the fire. What they're telling you is try to keep your distance from that. You don't want that to affect the blessings and the new beginnings that your dynamic or the people around you or your family life if you're married uh you know not fully be able to embrace that because of this negative energy over here so again try the best you can to disconnect from that type of energy or to pull back from that energy if possible be the peacemaker uh just so that there can be some type of harmony because i'm going to be honest with you with the page here and the moon and the three of uh, pentacles. I feel that it's, it, you know, with the three of swords here and ten of swords, it, it could be like petty energy, um, people just being spiteful and like backstabbing each other. Um, you don't need that energy because what they're telling you is what you need to embrace over here is the blessings, uh, is fully submerging yourself in the energy of opulence. Um, so again, don't let other people's drama affect your blessings or change or even shift uh, your mentality. Okay, my lovelies, I hope that this brings you some type of insight and I wish you guys the very best. We'll see each other soon. Bye.